If you want to lower your ping and improve your hit reg, watch the end of this video. Exilag is an app to improve your routing to make your connection to the servers better. They just gave everyone who has Discord Nitro a free month of Exilag so you can try it out. But if you don't have Discord Nitro, they also have a free trial without a credit card for all users for three days. But everyone recently has been wondering what are the best settings because of this. So I put together a convig that you should be using if you want to actually lower your ping along with some tips and tricks if you already have the best settings. Please subscribe and like if this video does end up helping you. But without wasting any more time, here's everything you need to know about using Exilag in Minecraft for the best hit reg possible. First off, in order to use Exilag, you have to download it. So head over to the link in the description and sign up with a new account. Then once you sign up, head over to the client area and you can enter your prepaid code right here if you have the free month from Discord Nitro. Otherwise, you also get a three day free trial without even having to use a credit card for all new users. Just keep in mind, if you've already used Exilag before, you will not be able to do this and it's pretty hard to get around that. Anyways, head over to download Exilag and then you can install it. Once you've installed it, open it up and make sure you sign in. So once you've signed in, click add and then type in Minecraft. Click it and then this is the first part you want to look at. So click all regions, which should be default. And then here you can find a list of all the different regions. I highly recommend just keeping it as the recommended option, all regions. The only reason you would not do this is if you know the location of the Minecraft server you're playing on. For example, if you're playing on a high pixel, you want to select a Chicago server. So I would select either one or three. And if you're playing on my min, you want to select a Ashburn server, which you just pick one of these because my min is hosted in Virginia. For other Minecraft servers, I'll put a pinned comment of the different locations. However, please, please, please just use all regions. It is the recommended option and works most of the time. Also, never pick a location of where you live. If I'm connecting to my min, I do not want to put somewhere else. Like if I live in Florida, I do not want to put Florida as the location. Just keep it as all regions. All right, so now that you know the location, select it, and then you're gonna move on to this advanced settings section. Turn both of these off, and then for TCP routes, set it to two. Minecraft Java does not use any UDP routes. You just wanna set it to zero. However, if you're playing a bedrock, you might wanna try experimenting this by turning this up. So now it should look like this. You're just gonna click apply routes. It may take a while, but just wait for that to finish and it shouldn't take a while if you ever wanna change your location. All right, so now you've done the main component. So next we're gonna move on to this FPS boost section. But before I show you the best FPS boosting settings, let me tell you about Swills the best PC optimizer I've ever used. It's built specifically for gamers to boost FPS, lower ping, and speed up inputs. And if you don't want to take my word for it, Swills is used by many big creators and has over 500 positive customer reviews. For example, when I tried on my PC, my FPS drastically improved. Just watch my FPS in this duel. All right, so I'm using Swills right now and it looks like I'm getting around 1600 FPS while bridging. Oh my gosh, that guy just got cooked. So, Download Swills by clicking the first link in the description and remember to use code FLAME at checkout for a 15% off discount. But anyways, here are the best settings. Once you're here, please copy my settings. So I'm going to try and keep all cores active and then I'm also going to turn on ultimate performance mode. It will make you restart, but just do that at the end because you're going to have to restart later on anyway. I also do have a video coming up where I try different optimizers that are better than this to improve FPS. So make sure you have your notifications on if you want to see that next. Anyway, these you can ignore unless you have multiple Wi-Fi's, which I just wouldn't bother with that. Just head over to general settings and this is the final tab. So for these, you just want to copy them and then move on to this route settings section, which is also very important. Set this to high for protocols for route analysis set this to udp slash tcp and then for ip version is keep that on automatic make sure you turn off real time optimization keep smart optimization on enable high priority qos on and turn off allow dual routes and also keep enable high udp ports on for this last one you will have to restart your computer most of the time just Click this and then set it to legacy in DIS. It may take a while, but after you've done that, you're completely done. But before you click off, I do have a final disclaimer. You can get banned on Hypixel for using exit lag on low star accounts. So only use this on your main, not alt. However, if you do end up getting banned on accident, you can appeal it. You'll just get a security ban and it takes around one to two weeks to get unbanned. I've been banned before because I accidentally logged on to an alt, but I did end up getting unbanned. Also, if you can't connect to Hypixel, try using different Chicago locations or to simply switch to all regions. If none of that works, just completely disable Exilag. And that's it. If you want to stay up to date with future Exilag updates and settings, join my Discord. Anyways, like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you later.